Hey everyone, today we're diving into a gemstone that's known for its bold red color, the ruby. Ever wonder how rubies form or what makes them so unique? In the next few minutes, we're going to explore the fascinating process that creates these fiery gems. Let's jump right in. So let's start with the basics. A ruby is a type of corundum, a mineral made mostly of aluminum and oxygen. Most corundum is actually clear, but when a small amount of chromium mixes in, it creates a vibrant red color, giving us a ruby. If other elements mix in instead, it can create other colors, like blue for sapphires. So in a way, rubies and sapphires are gemstone siblings. That's right, a ruby is really just a red sapphire. It's the chromium that makes it different and gives it that iconic deep red color. Now let's talk about where rubies come from. Rubies form deep beneath the Earth's surface, but they need very specific conditions to grow. First, they require high temperatures and intense pressure. You'll often find rubies forming in areas where there's a lot of geological activity, like mountain ranges where tectonic plates collide. Rubies take millions of years to form naturally. Over time, the pressure builds up, the temperatures stay high, and the minerals slowly crystallize into rubies. This process happens very gradually. Think of it as a slow-cooked recipe where each element has to blend in perfectly. So, the next time you look at a ruby, just remember that it's been sitting around in the earth for millions of years, waiting to be discovered. Once rubies form deep underground, they're usually brought closer to the surface by geological events like earthquakes, volcanic activity, or the natural movement of the earth's crust. When erosion wears away the rocks, rubies end up in places where miners can dig them up, or even find them in rivers as loose stones. Some of the most famous ruby mines are in Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and parts of East Africa, where the unique conditions make for especially vibrant stones. So, in a nutshell, rubies are the result of millions of years of heat, pressure, and a special element called chromium. They're rare because they need such specific conditions to form, which is what makes them so valuable and special. Thanks for joining me on this gem-filled journey. If you enjoyed learning about rubies, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and let me know in the comments. What's your favorite gemstone? Until next time.